Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video about this new tuning that I've come up with that I quite like. Um, as you can see, I'm just using my regular old 53 tone mapping um, with my rainbow colors from 94. Um, so it's laid out exactly the same as 53 equal, and it works pretty much the same way, but it's a little bit more like a well temperament, except for the fact that everything here is J.I., um, and it's 13 limit J.I., it's got 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13 for our primes. Um, I really like it. It's got a little bit of irregularity, but it's still a constant structure, at least according to Scala. Um, and obviously a 53 tone J.I. scale has got thousands of interval sizes. God knows um, who can really keep track of of everything, but I'd rather like the sizes that are involved here. I'll play a little bit. Um, so here I've got C as the 1-1, one, one, um, and basically every one of these 53 tones is a pretty meaningful ratio for me in relation to that 1-1. One, one. If you modulate around the place, you find there's a few quite weird, quite complex ratios. I don't know all of them. Um, <laughs> good challenge for you if you want. But um, there is a bit of a logic to it. The white key row, the natural rows, all... Pythagorean, so our standard 8164, and even 120, oh, sorry, um, 243, 128 for the major seventh, pretty dissonant, but pretty nice as a stack of, as a nice stack of fifths. Um, then coming the other way, we've got 4 3, we keep going down in fourths, all the way till we get to, to its opposite I guess. If that was 243, 128, this is our 256, 243, which is a nice Pythagorean uh, Phrygian leading tone, um, and obviously it's really nice as a stack of fourths. So there's our central chain of fifths going from, let's put C in the middle, um, going up five fifths and going down five fifths here, um, and then that's where I pretty much where I break it, um, and I do that to get into the ratios of five, which are really juicy. So in schismatic, the diminished fourth gives us a good five four, and here I've got that absolutely pure. But if we follow that chain of fifths a little further, fifteen eight. 45, um, 45, 32. So there is where I start my chain of sort of the prime five or the five over ratios. Um, if I go a fifth up, it's not a true three, two fifth, but it really sounds like one. It's seven, 700 cents instead of 702. Um, so that's our D flat from before. That's our 243, sorry, 256, 243 really hard to remember all these ratios. Um, but our five prime, our five prime chain coming down, 45, 15, five, and then we get our five over three, our 10 over nine, 42, 27, and our uh, schismatic comma down, uh, whatever that is, 160, one, uh, one, 160 over 81. Um, that's as far as the five prime chain comes down. Uh, what I should have mentioned actually is everything in this tuning is is symmetrical around C. We've got 53, uh, 53 tones 
so we can have an exactly symmetrical scale. There's no true uh, halfway point, there's no 600 cent interval in there. Um, so that means every, every O-tonal thing that we've got, every harmonic ratio that we've got against the 1-1, one, one, there's also its inverse, the subharmonic ratio. So if we've got 5-4 over there, then we've got 8-5, or 4 over 5, I guess, the other side. Um, so if we've got our central chain of fifths around about there, we've got our next chain of fifths. All the way down to a comma out. So we've gone 12 fifths down now, and that means that we can also go 12 fifths up if we come in the other way. So that's our chain from before. This looks like it's going to be our Pythagorean tritone, but we know from before this is actually the complement of 4532, so that's going to be 6445. Good minor third there. And if we're continuing that chain, 1615, 8 over 5, 6 over 5, 9 over 5, 2720. Comma, the syntonic comma, 8180. And I think maybe get into here. No, just just to the comma, sorry. Um, so we've got 12 fifths down and we've got 12 fifths up. Um, so we've covered quite a lot of times already. Um, so let's just make some pretty harmony with those guys. Some five limit JI. Not quite A major because this is not a true, not a true five four, but it sounds like one. It's a schismatic one. Um, so the I guess the furthest we can get is, is E major. We're coming down through those keys again. So there's our central chain of prime three, um, a little bit of the chain of five under and five over ratios. Um, and then where do we go from there? We get into the ratios of seven. So it's a nice little bridge from three Pythagorean to five, the classic stuff, and to seven, all the septimal stuff. So as we expect in 53 and 41 and all that, a comment down from our regular minor seventh, and we get... So we've got septal phrygian. And I think that's where our chain's starting. I'm not 100% sure. But I think we've got um, 28, 27, 14, 9, 7, 6, 7, 4, 21, 16. And that would be where our chain would break just ever so slightly to get our... Um, 160 over 81. But if we have a listen to that fifth. Okay, it's a little shimmery, but it sounds like 17 equals fifth. Compare it to a regular 3 2 fifth. This one doesn't really move around as much. Like J.I. there might be a couple of 
cents away. And they are, they are they're just more complex, complex ratios. So, um, our seven chain coming, sorry, our O-tonal seven chain coming down the keyboard. We've got all our harmonic stuff this way. That means we've got our subharmonic stuff the other side. If this is our one one, that means we've got eight seven over this way. Yeah, um, and twelve seven and nine seven and what is that? Twenty seven fourteen. So we can get all that simple major stuff going on. So there's our chains all the way through to however many fifths away that is. Um, 5 plus 12 is 17 fifths up, and that means we've also got 17 fifths down. So we've covered most of the territory already. We've got prime 3, we've got prime 5, and we've got prime 7 going on. So we're expecting the 11 and the 13. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into the 11, even though it's not quite in the right place. Um, it is here. So there's our 11 8. It's two commas up from the fourth. 4 3, 27 20, 11 8. So it's pretty juicy as we expect, so we can get a full one. Oh, sorry. Our one, five, three, seven, nine. So what happens in the meantime, what is this guy? It's pretty nice actually, it sounds a lot like Prime 23, but not quite. So there's our big, our slightly large end tritone. It's our regular 45 over 32. There's our 64 over 45. And though it sounds like Prime 23, we don't have any Prime 23 here, it's actually 13 over 9. So that means we've got a nice 13. Yeah, nice crunchy 13 over B flat. And if we continue that chain of fifths, we've got a nice crunchy 13 over F. And over C. And we keep going over G. I'm pretty sure this one's pure as well. but I've actually got something different here. So there's our chain of prime 11, got all the way up to... No, sorry, just... Sorry, go back on that for a second. That was our chain five for prime 13, wasn't it? 13 over 9, 13 over 12, 13 over 8, 39 over 32. There we go. Just hard to remember all these numbers. Um, and so if we see that coming the other way, we get into these purple keys down here, our subharmonic 13 is over here, from purple E up to C we get a 13, so that means C to purple E, we've got our 16 13, um, and we can continue that chain, uh, so if that's 16 13, oh my numbers are not working very well here, um, 64 30, as far as we get. Um, and if we come back the other way, 24 over 13 and 18 over 13, which means we get a nice crunchy... So we've covered 3, 5, 7, and 13, and we found that 11 before. So where's that really connected to? We got up to here. That was 39 over 32. And over here, we'd expect something real complicated like, uh, what is that? 
117 over 117 over 64, but it's not quite a perfect burp. Pretty damn close. It's another one of these real close guys. Not quite 3 2, but something familiar. That's 11 over F, or 11 over 6. So we've got a nice chain of 11s here. 11 over 6. Um, sorry, I just skipped one, didn't I? 11 over 6. 11 over 8. Um, then 30, 33 over 32. Is here. So that's going to be uh, 64 over 33. 33 over 32. Cool. Um, then we get some more complex stuff. We get this, which sounds like rubbish by itself, but this might sound a little better. Anyone who can pick out what that is by ear? It's a GI dyad, it's in the 13 limit, but it's not 9 7. That's our 13 over 10, which means I'm playing in the key of, where is this? There we go. Of that purple E again. 16, 13, uh, sorry, um, oh, I've lost myself now. 16, 13, there's our 1, 1, and that's our... 13 over 10, I think. Oh, sorry. I've, I've got it the other way around. That's our 20 over 30. That's right. That's going to make more sense. And that means coming the other way, that this one here is our... There we go. Um, that is our 13 over 10, which means we're in... So we've got a nice little partial series of fifths here as well. We've got 15 over 13. Um, oh sorry, we've got 20 over 13. 15 over 13. And then... What is that? Uh, that's where our chain of fifths breaks a little, even though it sounds pretty good. That's um, 26 over 15, which is our inverse of 15 over 13. And I think that comes around the whole keyboard. If we wrap it around the other side, that's like a minor third minus two commas. So this is a minor third minus two commas. Uh, oh, where are we? Oh, I'll make that up. <laughs> Hard to find your way around when you. It sounds pretty good in equal temperaments, but it sounds even better, I reckon, in J.I. 15, 13, 4, 3, 3, 2, 26, 15. So we've got this system here, it's pretty complex to explain, um, but there it all is. Pretty much all the, all the best ratios in the 13 limit. Um, we've got some really small steps, like in between 13-12 uh, and 12-11. I think that might be like 11 or 12 cents or something. Um, it's nice to have that little color though, because they can go, and then you can switch to, so it's just a little more like majory, and to me this is a little more, it's a little more aligned with the minor, even though they're both neutral. 
So it's a 53 CS, which means that we can basically um, play it like 53. Nothing gets too mucked up in terms of interval sizes. Things are in a nice order. We've got a lot of regular J.I. if you want to call it that. Um, and all of our close keys. And then if we go a little further, we get stuff that sounds like J.I. Even though it might not be. Simple J.I. So really that's a, a totally tempered chord, but I'm playing it in, in J.I. Doesn't sound too far off from the true major seven by these guys. And yeah, you can you can modulate any way you like. Um, the smallest fifth is something like 692 cents, I think, and that'll mean the biggest fifth is somewhere around 711. I'm not entirely sure about those numbers, but I'll give you a little printout um, if I do a post about this. Um, so yeah, let's hear a little music in there and see what we can come up with. Awesome. Thanks for watching. See you soon.